What does the future look like for Grow Light technology? Yeah, so I think as we were saying earlier, I think some of it will be about um, our growing systems, and it'll be having systems which understand and support higher growth rates overall. So are dialed in to this sort of twelve, fourteen hundred micromole average. Um, you know, I was just over in, in MJ BizCon, I met you there and I was talking to a lot of commercial growers there, and that's pretty much or sorry, grow lighting suppliers selling to commercial growers, and that's pretty much what they're specifying now is fourteen hundred micromoles. Uh, and that's because they're getting a good return for it. You know, it's the best use of the space um, and they're getting a good return. So that's almost twice the power intensity that home growers are using today. But, you know, if we figure out what strains are best suited, if we figure out what sort of nutrient schedules should be used, what sort of watering systems, what sort of media, etc best support this high performance level i think it's perfectly achievable and um you know as as it would be a surprise to people six seven years ago who were running with metal halide and hps that were pushing you know in some cases twice the yield per square foot that they would have been even expert growers and because of this increase in light intensity i think they would be surprised um and I think we'll be equally surprised three, four years from now when we're looking back and and seeing all these little incremental sort of changes that have occurred to put systems in place to support that higher um, return rate. Interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to look into the future myself and see you know, what is next for Grow Lights. And one of the things that come to mind that I'd, I'd like to see, and I think it would be achievable in the future, is having AI incorporated a little bit directly within the Grow Lights to where it can actually scan the plants and find out, okay, it needs more light. It'll automatically adjust the light up to where it needs. Or if it's smart enough to know that there's deficiencies, well, it's going to communicate to you and let you know that you need to increase your nutrients or, or whatever. But um, I think it probably could happen at some point in the future, maybe not in the next couple of years, but maybe five, 10 years from now, we've got AI incorporated directly in the grow lights to where it's actually adjusting the light levels according to how the plants physically are. Well, a really good example of that and just cheap sensor technology that works really well and uh, takes it away from sort of our perception or our, whatever our experiences are before that are maybe misleading us. And one of the ones for me is moisture sensors. It's so, you know, I was growing in cocoa. I actually met um, Dr. Coco over in MJ BizCon. He was giving out to me because you know, I hadn't been following his methods properly. <laughs> and... and uh, <laughs> You know, he, he was he was suggesting the same thing to me about using the moisture sensor. I did, and I have to say, I was overwatering and I didn't realize it. You know, um, and sensor technology is getting cheaper. Um, the integration of these sensors is getting cheaper. Um, you know, I really impressed um, with AC Infinity stuff, for example, um, where they really brought that the price down for integrating those systems together for the home grower. Um, and made it much easier to use and taking it away from our subjectivity, from our um, sort of biases based on past experience and, or just lack of, of knowledge. And, you know, so whether it's helping you with nutrition and feed schedules, helping you with, uh, you know, controlling your environment, dialing all those little factors in, to uh, you know, prevent us making a mess of things for a start, which is which is always a bonus. But then, ref, you know, getting those extra five percent all over the place, you know, that those little five percent that all increment together to make a good grow rather than um, a disappointing grow. Which you know, we've all had those experiences where you know we look back and we're just not sure what happened. You know, we're just not sure why it went wrong. What was different? What I, I thought I did everything exactly the same, and it turned out different. And if we had, um, as you say, AI knitted into that, where you know we're able to feed inputs and outputs uh, into a system where we're diarizing things effectively online or or through these um, through these devices, I think there's huge potential there to um, prevent disasters uh, or disappointments um, and to boost performance. 
Yeah, I think it can be really helpful for sure. We will just have to wait and see. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.